When you think about fasting, you probably think about two main things. How often and how long to fast for. Yes, that's important, but what's more important is to understand which tricks work best for you in making your fasting journey smoother. So today, we're going to talk about six main tips to make fasting a lot easier for yourself. Tip number one, find a fasting buddy. Everything becomes easier when you have a close person by your side, right? If you have somebody to do it with, you can share your struggles and ideas, share your success, and bounce ideas off of them. Most importantly, you have somebody that's going to keep you responsible, not only for yourself, but also for the other person. Because, hey, you're in this together. This will make it a lot easier for both of you to stick to the commitment. Let's say you both decide to fast from 6 p.m. and skip dinner. It may be difficult to go through your fasting window, so you can meet up with that friend during this period and kill your time before going to bed. The most important thing is getting that support and the feeling that you're not alone in this journey. Tip number two, make fasting a habit. This is super important. Most people have a habit of starting to eat the minute they get out of bed and stop eating before going to bed. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks in between. When you think about it, that's a lot. Shrinking your eating window may seem like a difficult task, but think about it. Each habit, after a while, becomes part of your lifestyle. Yes, you're used to eating from morning to late evening, but why don't you turn it around and stop eating as much? Just do it step by step. Try quitting snacking between your meals at least for a week. Then try to shrink your eating window by starting your breakfast a bit later in the morning or having dinner earlier and avoiding snacks after it. Later on, you'll notice that you can just have a cup of tea for your breakfast or dinner and you're not that hungry after all. And don't forget to remind yourself that eating time is over there's no point in eating something else. You're already full. Remember that habit formation is the process by which behaviors become automatic. Take your time, be patient, and after some time, you'll ask yourself, how was I even able to eat that much? Tip number three, put yourself on the schedule. Try to plan your day around your eating and fasting windows. Make sure that you avoid activities that revolve around food when you are fasting. Clear your schedule for such things as shopping for food. When you're feeling hungry, you will most likely buy unnecessary foods or snacks and eventually slip up by consuming them during the fasting window. Another thing, plan your activities and free time around the fasting window. Plan your meetings, workouts, or casual walk in the park when you're fasting. This way, you'll be able to take your attention away from hunger and you won't be tempted to eat. Tip number four, pay attention to how your body feels. You may feel a little tired, hungry, and more sensitive during a fast. But as we mentioned previously, you should never feel bad. To keep yourself safe, especially if you're starting with the 18-6 fasting, consider keeping a healthy snack on hand if you feel weak or ill. Also, if you're feeling super hungry during your fasting time, reevaluate how much you're eating throughout the day. You may need more proteins or fat during your eating windows. However, you should understand that fasting isn't for everyone. While it's generally acceptable and beneficial for most adults, some people shouldn't fast for prolonged periods of time, including breastfeeding women, diabetics, or people with eating disorders. Tip number five, record your progress. It's not only about the number. By keeping up with your progress, you remind yourself that you're on the right track and that fasting works for you. It doesn't mean you have to weigh yourself every single day. Weight loss won't happen in a day or two. It's gradual, so not seeing fast results may be discouraging and make you quit. You should take a picture of yourself before starting intermittent fasting. Then take another picture of yourself after two weeks or a month. This way, you will really see some changes that are occurring. Also, we got this simple tip from one of the viewers. Find pants or dresses that are pretty tight for you. Try putting them on every morning or every second morning to see your progress. Some people notice that they don't actually lose weight but they notice the size is going down. So if you're one of those people, try this trick to record your progress instead of stepping on the scale every morning. Tip number six, drink green tea. You probably already know that drinking lots of fluids during your fasting window keeps you less hungry since thirst can often be confused with hunger. But we specifically recommend drinking green tea. And here's why. Green tea contains two compounds that contribute to weight loss properties, caffeine and catechins. Caffeine is a well-known stimulant that increases fat burning and suppresses appetite, while catechins boost metabolism and reduce reduce fat. Also, we strongly recommend drinking matcha green tea. Matcha is baby green tea leaves rich in flavonoids. It has a great amount of caffeine and antioxidants. When it comes to your tea, you can add a bit of capsaicin in it. One study from 2014 showed that people who ate red pepper with every meal felt increased satiety and had fewer cravings. The study results suggest that adding capsaicin to your diet can suppress your appetite. Start with a small dose, around quarter of a teaspoon, and see how your body reacts. However, you shouldn't overindulge in capsaicin since it may give you tummy 
tummy aches, especially if you have a sensitive stomach. If you still have some questions about fasting, check out the video on how to break out of an intermittent fasting plateau and another one where we give you ultimate tips for massive weight loss.